I'm Brent Brooks from High Rise Firefighting. I'm continuing on talking about what's in our stamp pipe ki uh, kit. Uh, here's some suggestions for you. Um, we wanted to maybe not get rid of the glow sticks, but glow sticks um, are a little bit problematic. Um, for one, you know, a glove firefighter's hand, it's hard to get them uh, ripped open. If we're talking writ, um, uh, especially, uh, especially when a face piece is on, it's hard to get that in your mouth to rip that tab off to get that glow stick out. Uh, glow sticks can freeze. They have a life expectancy on them. So we just wanted to kind of um, revisit that. And that's exactly what we did. And we kind of came up with these strobe ideas. The strobe idea, when we're talking high rise and we're talking stamp pipe kits, um, this is something that we would put on a door uh, leading to the stairwell or a class three cabinet. Um, anything magnetic it would stick to. And to be honest, um, without comparing these two right off the hop, I thought this one here um, was gonna be the answer. The reason why it's not an answer, and, and this is why we test stuff on the fire department, we just don't go with our, with our hunches, is that with a glove firefighter's hand, it was actually hard to turn this on. And then also after testing, we found that the magnetic uh, was actually very, very poor on this, and this would fall off. The other thing is living in Canada, this looks like a hockey puck. Um, so we could actually play night hockey um, just by having this. Um, if it did fall off the door, it, would, it could roll away and be re-kicked um, and be knocked out of uh, the area where it was designed for. So we actually um, not a big fan of this particular one, but there might be another puck style that has a stronger magnet that might be better. And then we came across this one, and this is a, is a common one uh, in the police and fire service. And what I liked about this one is when it's in our stamp pipe kit is even with the glove firefighter's hand, I can grab that and it's a simple twist and I got this uh, up and running. What I also liked about it was the magnet on this is uh, very, very strong. And that's something that we certainly need um, for, for our safety. What I didn't like about it was how far it protruded off the door. What we found, because it does have a strong magnet, is we would knock this and it would reset itself. Or it would fall off the door and then get sucked back against the door again. Or we'd knock it off the door, it wouldn't get sucked on uh, back on the door. A firefighter would kick it and it would spin in a circle, but it wouldn't travel far from the door. So surprisingly, uh, I'm really liking this now. It does have a couple tabs on it. So we're thinking we could put a lanyard through it, tie a girth hitch off and, and, and hang it from a door handle. Um, lots of options. We're still doing R&D on this. We're still uh, uh, investigating, but right now, um, this seems to be the answer. The other thing we liked about this is that we can pick the color that's inside this strobe. So we went with the yellow and red flashing back and forth. There, there's a green, um, there's a white. The reason why we didn't go with the white is we thought in our, especially our, our large high rise buildings, um, you can't tell uh, what floor uh, firefighters are either in trouble or what fire uh, floor firefighters are operating on. Um, newer buildings all have strobe uh, uh, smoke alarms and, and uh, alarm signaling. So you look up in a building sometimes and there's blinking lights everywhere. So by changing the color, going with this, this is, this is certainly uh, unique and you're not gonna see that particular strobe pattern inside a normal high rise building. So you can look up, okay, looks like there's someone operating off of, off of that floor. We sometimes get flashlights and we try to wave down to the incident commander and give them a heads up. Hey, is a fire above us or below us? Or, you know, try and do some type of signal. Um, this here, we can just set it, forget it, leave it on the windowsill. Um, and get back to operations. So just a suggestion. I think it's a great tool and uh, anything for firefighter safety and occupant safety, I'm all over it. Again, I'm Brent Brooks from High Rise Firefighting. Please be safe out there.